Oh yeah, that was fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Look who's here. You can't tell who's here, but white dude, white t-shirt. Oh, yeah. it's hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's bright. Empty? Nice. I lay down. Nice. It was like only maybe like 40 people. Yeah. Yeah, because nobody's coming here right now. Okay. Yep. Do you have everything? Nice. Oh, nice. veggies. That's a lot of veggies. I've never, I haven't seen this many veggies since I've got here. Because you guys are eating all this meat all the time? Yeah, it's hard to get a salad. <laughs> that was cool. First dinner. First dinner in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. My brought us somewhere where he said we're gonna shit. Yeah, apparently this place is specifically known to make you shit a lot because it's like a lot of sesame powder and pepper and it makes them shit. Sometimes they say, Yasu said that he has to shit halfway sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Shit and then come back and eat more. <laughs> I don't believe it, but we'll see. Next next scene we're gonna be in the toilet. Mmm, good. You're gonna be vlogging for the toilet. Yeah. Big video in the toilet. Oh. 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 Oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Condensed milk too. Mm. Some post-dinner ice cream in 35 degree weather. Oh, Gus is going for it. Yeah, you eat the soup, you shit. It's confirmed. <laughs> I tell you, man, we're just Chinese like that. We just eat white pepper and sesame all the time. They're not used to it. It's like unheard of. I don't. I don't think it's a thing. Mustard sausage flavored chips. Oh, not the little baby. The one thing I don't like about the chips in Japan, though, is that everything has a sweetness to it. No, I like my chips either. salty. That's same with the Korean stuff too. Mm -hmm. Like their barbecue sauce stuff is like not good. Yeah, it's always just, like way too sweet. Yeah, I don't like when when it's too sweet. So far, only one I've had that's good is this one is good. This one is really good. Just tastes like butter. Right. Um, See, I haven't tried like that some, one yet. I've had butter ones too that also like were like sugar butter. Mm-hmm. It just I don't know why they like sweet stuff so much down there, salty stuff. Yep, Dasu's back. Oh yeah. Confirmed. <laughs> of course, I told you. <laughs> Your side is clearer than my side can see. <laughs> it's clearer here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, your, your side's pretty bad. <laughs> the light's yellow. <laughs> Cold. Yeah. Hell yeah. You see the ice on the roof. Show the ice on the roof. Ice road truckers over here. <laughs> what to eat for breakfast? Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a sandwich. Hmm. Should I get the mixed one? This one. This is my normal go-to. Stick. Hmm. A little tuna action sounds good though. So tired. Just woke up from a nap. We're at a rest area right now on the way to Okayama because we are actually visiting Toda Racing today. So one of those things where they've never actually opened up to the public before for people to take a tour or walk around or film anything. So it's gonna be the first time. So I've never been there before. Okayama's pretty far. It's like a three and a half hour drive from Osaka. So it's been a bit of a journey. That's why I was taking a nap earlier, but we're halfway there, I think. 
and we're gonna get to see the inside of Toyota Racing for the first time, so that should be super interesting. I don't think they're just regular credit cards. No, no credit card. Corn soup for the road. The ID. It clearly says how to use the vending machine right here. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't have those. Items. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I still have. I still have. Tea, I still have tea in the car. Oh, see. <laughs> Damn, all kinds of food here. Fried chicken, kebabs. Mmm, that'll definitely make you poop right now. <laughs> Look at those long fries. Those so nice. Your favorite. Those extremely long fries. Yeah. No, tomorrow. The <laughs> oh, automatic. Automatic. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Tastes good. It's like the length of your torso. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, and Toyota Racing is just in the middle of nowhere. And you have to drive on a bike path just to get to it. <laughs> it's so, so <laughs> narrow. Yeah. If another car comes right now, we have to like turn around and back up. Yeah, you gotta yeah. reverse. Damn. Oh wow, there's a lot of cars there. Mm -hmm. All those cars have Toyota IGBs? That's crazy. <laughs> I don't think so. Everybody has employee discount, everyone has IGBs. Oh. Here we are, Toyota Racing. Oh shit. That horse on the ground. <laughs> Maybe nobody has ever done a tour here because there's nothing inside. It's just boxes. Whoa, there's R32 right there. There's a Toyota forklift. <laughs> Toyota racing forklift? Yeah. Uh, shit, we had a park. Oh shit, cool. Yeah. Oh. 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 Um, so, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Chronicles on YouTube. Today we are in Okayama. As you saw from our long three and a half hour journey, we are here to visit Toyota Racing. Uh, Yasu has a customer who's an engineer here and they invited us out to come check it out. Not a lot of people come out here to see this place. Not a lot of photos or videos have ever been shot here at their facility. So it's kind of a unique opportunity to see something that's not that commonly seen. And if you're like an old school like Honda guy, you know what Toyota Racing is and they don't really have that huge of a U.S. market, but we're hoping to help them out with that and try to get this legendary company going again back in the U.S. and, you know, see some stuff that we've never seen before, which is always what I'm trying to do. So this is Toyota Racing. This is their showroom. I don't think we're really allowed to film in the manufacturing side of it, but all their display stuff is really cool. Here's a K-Series that's opened up. Get their sports injection system or ITBs. There's a 40G over here. C32B NSXR engine. showroom area they have here. It's a S2000 setup. Hi. With the exhaust and everything. You got drinks for us and stuff. Pretty cool. B16A. I don't know what this is. Mm-hmm. 
で今もそのスーパーフォーミュラライツっていうカテゴリーには参戦してるんですけど、まあ、レギュレーションとかも変わってちょっと今エンジン違うメーカーさんのを積んでるんですけど、はい、そのカテゴリーが変わる前に自社エンジンで開発したものを使ってレースしてたそう、so, cool. what is this again? Explain. This is a full Toyota built and manufactured engines for、mm. Formula 3 cars.、Mm. Yeah. Kind of based, like, based off K20 dimensions because it's 86 by 86 bore and stroke、mm-hmm. and 2 liter.、Mm-hmm. But everything on the outside of it is Toyota. Like, even this, like, cause it's, because it's a Ford Formula engine, this is like a full structure engine where it has that base,、mm-hmm. but also the top. The car, the entire chassis bolts the engine and trans as like a unit. Yeah. So it's all like structurally like integrated. So the engine is the mount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like it's like all like, yeah. Yeah, but it's s a m e as like Formula One, but like this is、crazy. like Formula Three level. It's、yeah. pretty cool to see. Even this is all built in. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. This looks like a radiator cap, but on the top. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. To、huh? use the, yeah, I guess so. Is that. Warm water? Oh, it is cold water. Be,、right? This is、There's、like the top of a, the water port. It's like a little swirl pot or something. It's、uh-huh. like the water line connects to the bottom somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. t h a t s cool to see this. This one's like billet.、Mm-hmm. Billet, machine, and everything. This one's all cast. Hmm. So, this is what is in here. <laughs> These two, two version engines,、mm-hmm. this one all billet and this one all cast. So, this is the first one. Oh, so, this is the first one. Oh, so, this is the first one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Production model is the cast one.、Mm. So, this、ah. one's, yeah. Yeah, this is like the prototype that they tested, like,、mm-hmm. yeah, the power and all that stuff. Because obviously, manufacturing this. The first time is cheaper, but when you're making multiple engines for a full series, to cast. it's going cast. Yeah. It's bigger, in the, at the bigger first, but, or more expensive first,、mm-hmm. but then long run wise, manufacturing is better to do the cast stuff. Man, that's so cool. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. このこれもそのドライカーブもあのオートクレーブ自社で持ってるのでこれも自社製造でしてます。Oh. Yeah. Built in autoclave. Autoclave, yeah. Made here.、Uh, oh. They pretty much do everything here, right? Yeah. Yep.、Hmm. That's how you know it's real carbon. Like real, real, real top level carbon is made in an auto, autoclave. Mm-hmm. So this one, this is like K that's converted. So it has this like. Sub sub pan, this is like the r o m p e sub pan. Yeah. And there's another sub pan here. And this is like structure to the formula car. Oh. So this is the one that's based off of K. And then the other ones is you know, <coughs> like their own custom made, like their full on race engines. It's like another step above, like this. Hmm. Yeah, the intake manifold's crazy. <laughs> This racing sim. Whoa. <laughs> one of the main reasons why we're here is because one of Yasu's customers. Owns this black AP1 S2000, and he's an engineer here at t o t a Racing. So he was the plug. He's the one that got us in on this fancy tour. And、uh, it's got a Chronicle sticker inside and a Battlecraft shift knob, but you can't see it. So they're saying that they can still build complete S2000 F Series engines here, meaning they can build it to whatever specs you want. Any type of compression ratio you want, any type of parts, they build it complete here, and you don't need to bring them a block, a core, a head, nothing, because they can still get all the OEM parts and they can basically build whatever S2000 engine you want. And they've had customers in the US that have ordered complete Toyota engines. And、uh, that's pretty wild considering 
they can still get all the OEM parts and stuff for it. Probably cost a pretty penny too, but probably well worth it. Looks like they got a regular service bay here too with a couple of lifts where they work on customer cars and client cars. It's our R32 right here. Looks to be another customer vehicle. You can tell by the plastic on the seats and on the steering wheel. But nice clean workshop here. Everybody's inside hanging out with us, so this area is nice and quiet right now. There's like a little lounge there too for customers. This building is pretty massive. There's even a lift outside. Not sure what car that is. Looks like it could be an S2000. But yeah, they do everything here. Engine builds, engine parts manufacturing. Really cool looking building too. So you can tell they've been here for a while. But yeah, Toyota Racing. Well, since we're in Okayama and there's a random up garage here, we're gonna go inside and check it out. <laughs> That's my first time. <laughs> Keep doing it the entire every time. <laughs> Apex man. Yeah. So Apex N1 for what? I don't know. Uh, it's even smaller oh, than the Honda HKS car. Really? Life. Oh my God! Do I need this? Where are you gonna put it on? I don't know. I guess it's kind of small, huh? Uh -huh. The diameter is very small, but look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's only been two days. Stop spending this dumbass money. <laughs> but it's only $130. Oh yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> so we're at this GR garage place. This is like a dealership. But it's kind of cool. So we stopped by to go look at it. And they got the new GR Yaris here. GR Corolla? Oh yeah. Look at that. GR Supra. I don't know if I'm supposed to be walking on this platform, but I'm here, so. GR86 with the TRD kit. They're already inside. Yeah, that taxi had over there too. I don't know, what does this do? Makes a sound, dude. Header here? Is that that header from this car? I think so. Yeah, that's the exhaust that we have on our car. Is that why this one sounds so crazy? Because it has this header? Maybe, yeah. This header looks crazy. Maybe you should press it again and see what happens. <laughs> 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 oh wow. Gear garage coilovers for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shit, Oh really? Damn, you can buy all this stuff at a dealership? 
You can get endless brakes from a dealership? Why do they have camouflage project view brakes? That was really weird. Oh, you got TE there? Hmm, what does this button do? Oh. Cool. Even this Vitz has four pots. Yeah, so why are these cars registered? Uh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> they Maybe they work car. here. Oh, there's a Blitz display there. This is cool. It's super cute. Yeah. Okay, you always I like how you can just like get cam camouflage. Oh, this one you can push it on too. Yeah, no, I already did it. it nice. Go ahead and do it. it nice. No, it makes really cool sounds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just showing it off. <laughs> Just do right? Yeah. The GR Corolla actually, the GR Corolla looks really nice in white actually. It looks a lot better in white than the other car. Yeah, they never showed us the white color. They showed us that weird red color and whatever the other thing was. But this workshop over here is really cool. Look at this. It's like a little tiny, I mean, you can't really see it with the GoPro, but yeah, look at that. It's cute. Mm, curry for lunch. Since we had a restaurant we picked, but they were too full to take us, so now we're just eating curry at this random spot that we walked past. Mm. Looks good though. I never had this one. This one is oyster. oyster curry. Fried oyster, oyster curry. Curries. Yeah, it also says it's a Hiroshima oyster. Yeah, see? And it's a winter. Oh, yeah, winter see, it says only. Hiroshima oyster on there right there. Winter only. Winter only? Winter only. Yeah, yeah. Seasonal. Yeah. Oh. Look how big this oyster is. Yeah, it's super no, no, let's see. Yeah, looks very. First. Yeah, the camera eats first. <laughs> Sushi for dinner again. <laughs> Something quick. Christian's taking forever to order. <laughs> I feel like I should stop ordering. How much, how much has it been so far? Mine's already at $26. Oh, I don't know how you see that. Oh, when you get to the order menu. Have you actually added to the menu or no? To the order? I don't know. How do you know? <laughs> he said it was ordered. Okay. <laughs> I think he's just clicking on stuff. He's not actually ordering. How do you know How do you know what you ordered or not? Your order. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 So six pieces are What is just trying to see what you got, dude. Trying to copy your homework. <laughs> you already ate all yours? Yeah. Oh, shit. Back at the airport once again. This time to pick up Durr. Still downstairs, right? Did he land already? No, he lands at 10.15, so we got here like right on time. I think. What flight is it? Did we go to the wrong airport? <laughs> JL6004? No. 229? JL? Yeah. Uh, 229. Yeah. T1. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't say it arrived yet. We're too early. And then come back out. Walk back inside and then come back out. Yeah. Tired? Uh Dur's here. Uh, yeah. You tired? Made it. Made it. Did you get some baby throw up on you? No, it was like you know, like, yeah, I started smelling something kind of sour. Like, <laughs> oh, I was like, tied up the mask. And then when I turned back, like, the lady was just like, it was like all wet. Ew.